What's up everybody, Chris Cowan with Loose Reality Inc. and Brad from Loosely Loose Reality Inc. I'm from a lot of things, so episode nine. Nine! Nine! Hey TikTok, suck my dick. Why is it that every time we post something that's usually a repost, it gets flagged, but the original post gets to stay up? Yeah, the original post not only got to stay up, but the one thing that goes viral on our channel. Right. What the the fuck? The first one that we do that actually gets a lot of hits other than my personal account, which was Nicole making a UFC character. I got a lot of views I didn't see. Oh, yeah, I got a a shitload of them. It was was actually pretty dope. Yeah, well, yeah, besides this reality, Inc., with the Windows post in that one and then we did the uh, joint account for this will hurt you more than us and youtube decided that we were bullying or that no it was endangerment where the person in the video was endangering themselves when it was just a what is his name i i have no idea um, it's the it's the tiny guy from uh the tiny person from uh 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 the, li- the, the, little, the, little, the person. little person little person i couldn't think of what it was. it's not the dude from jackass if that's what you're thinking no is- no it he's from something else i can't remember what it is now because I was going to say jackass, and now I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say jackass, but you you may be not. Yeah, you may be not say that. So guess what, everybody? Before episode 10, at four episode 10, we'll be downloaded probably close to 1,500? Close to it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm blown away by that shit, and we, we've got a listener in Russia. Shout out to you. <laughs> the one lone person in Russia? Yeah, I hope you're not involved in all the conflict. That would yeah, suck. Yeah. Real bad. Yeah. Like, I hope you're doing okay. But we also got some new listeners in Brazil, Japan, uh, uh, China. Show was it Shanghai and uh, Hong Kong. Um, appreciate the listen. That's awesome. I got nothing. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't know why you would want to listen to us, but fucking listen. Yeah, Keep listening. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You gotta hear the bottle clink. There you go. Beers is. We are so proud of the listeners out there, and proud to uh, be bringing you guys entertainment as shittily as we can. But for real, TikTok. <laughs> yeah, because you know the funny thing is, on my personal account, I got I got bullied. I got marked for bullying. Oh. Yeah. Remember, I bullied my son. Right. He was laughing. That's right. He was yeah. laughing in the video, and they were like, "You're bullying," and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm, what?" That's because they they probably have some stupid fucking AI that that oh, looks yeah. for an algorithm and is like, "Nope, nope, that, nope, that, that, that he's what's in uh, what's known as as a headlock." So that's that's bullying. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't put my kid in a headlock just to uh, put that out there. I used the electric you have, door. You have a son. You should put him in a headlock <laughs> multiple times a day. Yeah. I guarantee he deserves it. <laughs> uh, speaking of people factual. who deserve to be in headlocks, I stopped at a gas sta- I stopped at the same gas station every day for work to get a pack of cigarettes and a coffee. Well, monster coffee. Gas station regular coffee is absolute garbage. <clears throat> Absolutely. Unless it's Rofo. So I deal with the same, like, three guys all the time, right? It's whoever has the morning shift that day, but it's always the same three guys. And uh, the one guy that was in there the other day just so happened to be this one of the guys I deal with the most. So uh, he, as soon as I walk in, he has my cigarettes ready for me. I get, he, you know, I go to the cooler, get my drink, come back, and it's all ready. Well... I see a guy at the counter who's obviously uh, very crackheady. Mm-hmm. Um, Crackish. Yeah, uh, most definitely a crackhead or a dopehead of, of some kind. Uh, so, Shout out for you to get in the <laughs> job to support your habit. I, I, go, I, <laughs> I go to the cooler, grab my coffee, come back, and the dude is holding up that uh, his, his essentially his crack supplies. For those of you don't know, you can buy like glass stems and the copper things, the copper filter bullshit that they put in their crack pipes yeah. at gas stations because, you know, it why not like support the habit? Yeah. But he was holding up this giant thing. It looked like steel wool, but it was copper, uh, like a copper ball. And, and the clerk told him his total, and it was $5.48 for his stupid little crack pipe and his fucking copper filter. Or copper screen. And he started bitching at the fucking clerk. Well, I was in here yesterday (laughs) and it it was a total of five. It was five dollars even. How is it every time it comes up? Every time I come in here, it's 50 cents more. And it's first thing in the morning. And so I was pissed off and I'm standing behind this, watching this crackhead yell at one of my favorite clerks. And I was just like, dude. Are you really complaining about the price of your fucking crack supplies right now? Get the fuck out of my store. 
<laughs> and he turned and looked at me. He was like, fuck you. I said, fuck you. Like, you're a piece of shit. Like, everybody in here knows that you're out smoking crack with that shit. Get the fuck out. And he was like, man, fuck you. And turned around and walked out. And I thank God he didn't want to fight because I do not want hep C. <laughs> <laughs> like, I yeah, thought about that afterwards. You, you gotten hep C, right, I was so mad that I would have beat the living piss out of this. Well, maybe not because crackheads are stupid fucking strong. They've but uh, the they, they have the crack will to smoke again. Not to live, to smoke, to smoke again. But uh, yeah, if, if I would have got any crack blood on me, I would have been real upset. It's like Stan Hansen bleeding all over you at WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> It's like being at a cookout with Magic Johnson. Oh, foul! Foul! Red flag. Drop it, it's got AIDS on it. No! <laughs> and that's uh, a quote from me, so I can't I can't fight that. <laughs> well, good start to a show. Good crack crackhead story. Good crack and AIDS. Yeah, crack and AIDS. So we've offended crackheads and AIDS. Crack and aid. It's it sounds like a sports drink the government would give to crackheads for free. Crack aid. Crack and aid to help you with that crack cotton mouth. Hopefully it'll prevent sores on your lips. <laughs> oh, you know how like the whole world has been revving up on spam. We've been talking about it for like the last ten episodes. Like the meat. <laughs> spam, as in the fucking calls that we get. Oh emails. yeah, no. So I've been answering every call that I don't recognize with. Hey, I've been trying to reach you about your core warranty. I pick up the phone, answering that way. Nice. And immediately, they're like, uh, uh, click. <laughs> 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 They've got nothing, and they're just like, well, fuck. I usually just have one of my Latino friends answer the phone in Spanish. Hello, hablo espanol, or you got somebody again? That was very racist. No, hablo espanol. Is but you said, hablo espanol, hablo espanol. No, I said, <laughs> I said numbers, but then I fucked them up. I kind of speeched. I, I kind of speeched. You did I speech. speech. You, speech. you did a bad job speech. So uh, the speech was bad. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay. It, you're, you're still racist just because you can count to ten <laughs> in Spanish. I am not racist. <laughs> you know me. I'm not racist. That's like the other day my, my wife made a joke. And it wasn't really a joke, but it was... It, it was racist? It, it was racist, yeah. but it, it was out of pure... Love? It, yeah, it wasn't It wasn't meant to be well, bad. You. We were talking about it earlier with uh, the, the good stereotypes. Yeah. Somehow the Hulk came up in conversation, and she was like, you know what? She thought about why, dick. Why would... No. No. Jeez, fuck off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, she said she was talking about. We were talking about the hawk, and she's like, you know, the hawk. Why? Why didn't the hawk ever? Hawk. Uh oh. Hawk. <laughs> this is coming from the same person who thought plethora was a word. <laughs> so stop trying to. Cr never in the history of human existence, in the existence of language, has it been pronounced plethora. <laughs> Okay, so Hawk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so the Hulk came up, and she's like, you know, I wonder why the Hulk was never, like, Asian. He is. And I said that. I was like, well, he was at one point. And uh, so. Yeah, I said he was in, what was it, the Immortal Hulk? Yeah. And uh, I was like, yeah, well, he was. She said, yeah, but don't you think that would like make him better at fighting? <laughs> I said, I just turned my head and looked at her. And she said, she's like, she looked at me and, you know, don't call me. No, it, don't say anything about it being racist because it's not racist. I was just figuring if he was Asian, he might be better at martial arts. <laughs> Definition of racist. <laughs> I said, I don't care how you put it. It's racist. If you had to tell me to not say anything about it being yeah. racist. <laughs> Oh, God. And trust me, it, it all comes from a, a good place in her heart. She has no hatred she for anyone. Well. She beats well. She hates old people driving. That's one thing. In the state of Maryland, old people driving are dangerous. Yeah, well, we should be like Ireland, and once you reach senior citizen age, you're not allowed to drive anymore. Yeah, well, how many buildings have you seen that were driven into? Uh, a few. One was a bank. Yeah, I saw the yeah Bank of America right by my house. No, it was uh, PNC on 301. Uh, well, Bank of America got you open, too, and so did the Royal Farms and the dollar store. The dollar store connected to, you know, a gigantic shopping plasma. Plasma. 
plasma, a shopping plasma. plasma. Hulk. Coming to a shopping plasma near you. <laughs> plasma screen. Oh, God. It, we'll talk about terrible idea for technology. <laughs> uh, plasma screens. They only had, what, 30,000 watching hours? And the amount of time that people just leave their TVs yeah, on. I'm pretty sure my TV's on right now. Right. No one's watching it. No, no. Did my screen just have a seizure? Your screens are always having seizures. It seemed like it just flicked back and forth between, yeah. I don't know how someone like you deals with the star thing floating around where them little green dots hit your screen, because every time I look at them, I think there's a pixel burn. <laughs> well, when I do color accuracy work and shit like that, I turn those off. Oh, just at, just at all, though. Ooh, PC Engine is on sale for fucking blah, 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 blah on uh, Steam. You remember how it, every summer it would be like, I have money, I have money, and Steam would be like, oh yeah? Steam <laughs> summer sale. We're going to sell you 37 games for 50 cents cent. each. I Fuck bought you, Steam. I bought a game off of Steam for, it was 99.9% .9 off. I bought it for three <laughs> cents. Yeah, Steam knows how to make a fucking sale. They, they know how to drag you in. They're like, you, you buy this one for three cents, we'll sell you this one for 50% off. Like, I fucking love you, Steam. Take my money. <laughs> take my money! Yep. Yes. Shut up and take my money. Shut up and take my money. Fish. Fish? I mean, fry. Shut up and take my fish. <laughs> take my fish. Oh my god. My retardation is just on a whole nother level today. Yeah, it's a good time. It's going to be terrible in the editing process. But yeah, it's, really. it's going to be good. It's going to be hard to make you sound smart. Yeah, it usually is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be the first to admit, I, I know a lot about a lot of shit. Oh, a lot about I, uh, a lot of shit. You, you do. But I don't know nothing. It was a jack of all trade, but a master of none right. is better than a master of one. Yeah. Um, when it comes to computers, I, I, I know as much as I can. I see you have <laughs> all, the uh, all the Quake back on here. Did you actually start streaming Quake? I did. Nice. I did. I streamed nice. for about an hour, and I had about 15 viewers, and then I forgot that I wasn't doing it on our stream. Oh, bitch. Yeah, <clears throat> so... I will be starting, uh, I ha I'm going through the entire Quake Trilogy, and then I'm going to do the Half Quake Trilogy, and then, you know, Quake, uh, The Reckoning, and Ground Zero, and, uh, the, what is the other one called? Mission Pack. Team Arena. Yeah, Team Arena I've already done, but I'm going to do all of them, and even experience Quake Live on the This Will Hurt You More Than Us Twitch stream, so make sure you guys pay attention to that shit. Right, and then after that, I might, I was thinking about trying to stream a, uh, a game called Full Throttle. It's a Lucas Arts I remember it game. Uh, is one of the three games I had on my dad's computer. That's an old and, school. I thought uh, you'd do Police Quest. No, no. He's got a special place in his heart for Police Quest. Like no, I do Space Quest. No, 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 no. Not Police Quest. Uh, Quest for Glory. Quest for Glory. Sorry. Quest for Glory Five Dragonfire is one of the best PC games to ever exist. I Fucking for you. love it. All of King's Quest and Space Quest. Oh, oh King's Quest was good. Yeah. King's Quest is is. Roger Wilco is the shit, dude. Okay. Space Quest. Man, he just did the, the, the head bob. girl head bob. Uh, like, did. he mm. is the shit motherfucker. You like, better know it. He just didn't have the finger up wagon. Almost. <sighs> he just did the snap, and I'm going to have to edit that out, too. <laughs> He's not going to edit it out. Maybe not for the joke. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, so who is Tom Lakus? Uh, Tom Lakus. Uh, apparently this dude has been around for a long time I've never uh, heard of him <clears throat> but he's an extremely out of shape like <laughs> obese losing his hair like balding motherfucker is he, is he married? no I don't think so I think he just it, he constantly talks about the, the sexy women he fucks because and in his words cause I'm rich and famous sweetheart <laughs> uh, he is I mean, that will do it. One of the most misogynistic pieces of shit that I've ever listened to or witnessed. But I also severely respect him as an interviewer because of how straightforward he is when he's talking to people. Uh, he'll, he'll present some facts and, and they'll... He was talking to a, a Bible thumper and he's an atheist. And his, the guy was talking about, well, there's so many things from the Bible that are true that happened. They, well, okay, prove it. Prove to me that that's real. Prove it. I'm listening. And he just sits there quiet. And waits for the person to argue their subject. And he's like, you haven't proved anything. You have a theory. You have a belief. There's no proof behind that. <laughs> and uh, I can fully respect that. But <laughs> that guy's a gigantic piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
He talks about all the hot women he bangs, all because he's rich and famous. And he's like, well, so if he's talking, women call into his show all the time, yelling at him and tell him how much of a pig he is. And he's like, that's right, sweetheart, I am a pig. And he goes right to the like the sweethearts and the honeys and the. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta love the guy who calls him sweet cheeks. He's he is uh, he's the the newer Howard Stern, I oh. guess. You know, because uh, Howard Stern used to be controversial. Now, it, now, now it's empowering for women to pull their tits out. Yep, as long as there's an OnlyFans. It's like, <laughs> it's like, uh, what Family Guy made a joke about it. Like, how many hot dogs can you catch in your mouth? That's the kind of shit Howard Stern would do. Like, all right, let's bring a stripper in here. She's gonna take her tits out, and then we're gonna sh- throw hot dogs at her face and see how many she can catch. That's totally a Howard Stern thing. While Artie Lang's hitting the don't record button so he could just do a bump of coke before yeah. the show starts. <laughs> Speedballing. Right. Yeah. Oh God, that scared me. Whew. I did not know those photos were on there. <laughs> a uh, photo of his ex-wife popped up on his on his. It's on definitely his a visual gag. Yeah, it was. It's terrifying. <laughs> I'm scarred for life. She's like staring through my soul. So if you haven't figured out, we don't have a whole lot to talk about this week. We don't. We don't. Um, hey, um, my Adderall wore out last week, <laughs> so I haven't written anything down in a week. And I I tore my rotator cuff, so writing writing shit down has a. Uh, been on the yeah dude that is such back end like I, I i you didn't answer when i when i texted but i was like man those are one of those falls that you have when you're younger you just shake off but when you're older it's like oh i think i did something yeah i didn't answer because i didn't want to believe you <laughs> you were lying to yourself yeah pretty much <laughs> uh but no i did fall because i i fell off the ladder when i was putting up the basketball. the kids basketball hoop and I, I landed on top of a bunch of the steel beams Oof. or steel pieces that you're that you use to put the fucking thing up and I had a real bad bruise on my hip but uh that was about it until last week when I was playing ball with the oldest kid and I heard a pop in my shoulder and ever since then it's just been oh, you a pop lot locked of it and dropped pain. it well unfortunately I never dropped it yeah he um, just popped and locked it yeah and now it's just constant pain all the time and of course I go to the doctor and how fucked up our medical system is oh, yeah. is I have to go to one doctor for him to tell me that you need a referral to that go I to need a referral to go to another doctor like why couldn't I just okay why couldn't I just set up an orthopedic I knew I would have to go see an orthopedic right. doctor so why do I have to go to a, a, a regular doctor first for them to say Oh, we don't have the equipment here to look at that, so you're going to have to go to an orthopedic. Well, I knew that already. Because they want their pay. I fucking knew that already. Right, so, uh, my, yeah, the copay, The fucking $30 that they get. For, like, fuck you. Well, it's they so get $30 from stupid. you, and then they get, like, two grand from your insurance. Yeah, for no reason. No reason whatsoever. No reason. There's no reason that, and I sat. They're the drug dealer middleman. Like, dude, I... I can go to CVS and check my blood pressure for free. I don't. <laughs> I don't need to like spend three hundred dollars for a nurse to tell me my salt. Like I, I eat too much salt. Like I know that already. Yeah, you do eat too much. But salt. that, but that's all they do. You go to these fucking urgent cares or, or whatever to get looked at. Now they've got and the CVS and shit. They take your weight. They take your blood pressure and your height, and then you sit in another room. For fucking two and a half hours waiting for one of the two doctors on staff to come to you. <coughs> Jesus, you go to a shitty doctor's office. And no, well, yeah, I went to. I li- I just said I went to an urgent care. Oh, okay. I don't have a primary care because doctors are shitty bastards. No, they really are. They, they, no, it's true. I have I have a primary care, but but that's because I'm like you know fucked up health. Like the one of the last doctors I went to, he was like. So, uh, are you having any chest pains or anything? I said, yeah, from time to time, I get you know I get a little chest pain. And he's like, okay, that was the last we <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> and the the past two doctors I've been to have told me, and I my family has a history of high blood pressure, right? And Just even people who work out, even people in my family who are are workout buffs have high blood pressure. My brother, my brother's yeah, I was a personal ready to say, trainer. The only one that I know of is your brother. My brother and my uncle Jeff. Like they're I don't know, Uncle Jeff. <clears throat> well, Uncle Jeff worked out because of prison, but oh, okay. uh, yeah. my brother is among seven thousand things. He's a uh, and also a personal trainer, but he also and has high chef. blood pressure and fucked up shit. Told this doctor, I have family history of high blood pressure. Okay, okay. Well, you're just fat. You need to work out. Just like how there's nothing wrong with me. 
<laughs> right. It's fucking stupid. Like, you spend five minutes with me, you'll know there's something wrong with me. I, yeah. One hundred. I can vouch for that. One hundred percent. Yeah. If only doctors had the same uh, protocols lawyers do. Like, hey, can you come in here and talk about this guy and yeah. tell me? Like, yeah, I've known him way longer than you. I can tell you, this guy's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like uh, the, the disabilities. The services are like, yeah, you're you're capable, and I'm like, well, what's your basis? Oh well, we took all this mental stuff you have and we threw that away. <laughs> we just looked at your physical and we we're like, okay. And I was like, yeah, but even physically, I'm not, I'm not really supposed to be driving. Uh, <laughs> like, I can vouch for that too. <laughs> like a good twitch and we all die. <laughs> yeah, just on the, he had to pick me up for this one, and just on the way here, there was a sudden slam on the brakes for no reason three times. <laughs> See, all because he saw brake lights fucking 600 yards in front of him ah, and, that, and that meant slam on the brakes so yeah but there's nothing wrong with him he's fine he's totally to fine anymore he's totally fine <laughs> that was that was no, no that I'm was kidding. for your argument i know i know <laughs> I'm i just feel like my mother <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking over at your outlet over there and any electrician will tell you that that screw in the middle is supposed to be facing up and down it's supposed to be vertical okay it's not gonna work right okay might kill you okay i don't use that that's why you don't use it because you can't. It's the screw's it not right. Like nope, you got to turn the screw right. No, if I you'll die. Ow, my brain. Um, I hate cyclists. Yeah, he does. I hate bicyclists. Although uh, I was in, I was in Ellicott City once with uh, this girl Julia, and we were riding along, and there comes a guy. I mean, we were walking along, and comes a guy in a full-on cyclist outfit, and he's got jazz blaring, and he's got like four bikes on his roof rack. And he is just, he is cycled up. He is the hardcorest of cyclers. That's the only time when a cyclist is bearable is when they're going from one place to another in a fucking car. <laughs> right. Like, like, oh, you're right. There's a reason bike trails exist, you piece of shit. And you have the nerve to get mad at me when I have to go around you when you're riding on a, you're riding a fucking bike on a, a two-lane skinny-ass fucking road. Fuck you. Okay, this is not... This is not China. We don't ride bikes to work every day. We, there's not... Like, no. There's, there's bike trails for a fucking reason. Take your ass up to the B&A trail and ride your fucking bike there. Yeah, are nice trails, too. Yeah, they're really nice. They have, like, nice scenic routes and everything. Nice stuff to look at. Good place to get murdered. And people don't get mad at you for riding your bike there. They do get mad at you if you walk, though. Yeah, because it's a bike trail. Yeah. That's It's called the fucking bike but trail. But it's also got, you know... Walking paths. Well, everything's a walking path. If yeah, you think about it's easy. It's easy. Well, walk hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> walk hard. Walk hard. That's if what. You, that's what. If you do eat cocks enough. If you do eat cocks enough. If you do eat cocks enough. Oh man, that was <laughs> really good. Yeah, thank you. Maybe is that is that is that the joke we've all been know. missing for I, Dewey Cox? I don't know. Do um, eat cocks. Maybe that's the joke we've been missing. <laughs> we've eaten cocks. <laughs> no, not that. Just that his name is Dewey Cox. Dewey Cox. His mind is blown right now. There's, you know, that mathematical equation that pops up in every fucking meme video. Now, nowadays, it's the uh, reading rainbow. Oh, uh, reading rainbow. Yeah, like butterflies in the sky. <laughs> yep, that's that. That's the new like. How many times have we harmonized on this channel? Uh, dude, I uh, I didn't want to mention it, but we did it earlier with a sigh too. We, <laughs> really? both, we both went <sighs> at the same again at the same time, and it was it's beautiful. Yeah, it's weird. It's like our periods are sinking up. <laughs> They've been sunk up, sunk up. They've been sunk up. They've been synced. They've been synced a long time ago. It's like our Bluetooth. The one that went off in your head when you came uh, Yeah, I was going to say, I did I did say that before. I walked <laughs> in, my brain dinged. And the funny thing is, this week was shitty for you, it was shitty for me. Yeah, our periods did sink. Yeah, it was real bad. <laughs> it was real bad. I can talk about... Uh, What's flailing, <clears throat> uh, f flailing urethra? I have no idea, but I wrote in my notes, flailing urethra? <laughs> and I'm going to have to talk to my wife to figure out what that means, because I'm sure it had something to do with oh, her. Oh, it had to. Uh, I, did, I, I did recently... Uh, take a motorcycle motorcycle safety class and motorcycle. i motorcycle it's where you <laughs> siphon out gas um because it's so goddamn expensive no i took a motorcycle safety course and apparently now that means i'm i'm road ready for my license 
Yeah, I, the the class was three days, and I was on the bike a total of three times. And, I mean, for hours at a time, but yeah. we never got too far out of second gear. <laughs> uh, but they're like, yeah, just take this to the MVA, and you can now get your endorsement. Congratulations, you have your motorcycle license. Fucking okay. what? We did no road riding. We did no highway riding. I never got above second gear. <laughs> uh, but apparently, I'm legal to ride on the road. You're going to die. Oh, I'm going to die so hard? It's going to be great. <laughs> You're going to die so hard? I had a dream about that the other day, actually. About me dying? No, about you getting into a motorcycle accident. You you survived. Uh-oh. Well, that's good. I survived. Was I yeah. crippled or anything? No, 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 no. No, you were fine. Did I get I... superpowers? No. Did I combine with the motorcycle and become a trans... You did. Transformer. You, you can't. Is and there a lingerie football league? You've never seen the lingerie football league? I think I oh know. my God! I I'm pretty myself. sure I've just found you a new kink. <laughs> yeah, I just the way I'm looking at you right now is like right. It's literally women. They're wearing football shoulder pads, helmets, but then lingerie. I don't need another kink. These are the toughest fucking. It's it's like roller derby but half naked. Yeah, the lingerie football league is fucking fantastic i don't think i've ever been turned on and scared at the same time I have. and it's a wonderful feeling and it's fantastic <laughs> yeah, because every single hard is great every single one of these women would kick my ass they would fuck me up <laughs> i am not trying to run like a, a button hook route and cover any of these bitches fuck that <laughs> Like, they would fuck me up. I know football plays enough just to know that joke. Yeah, just just enough. Just enough. He watched a Little Giants movie, so he knows Santa <laughs> plays. And Angels in the Outfield, so I know baseball, too. Man, Christopher Lloyd was an angel in that movie, I forgot. Yeah, oh my god, and he's yep. an angel in real life. Is he still alive? Yes, he's still alive. Uh, he's still an angel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, have you thought about... I mean, Well, I've been thinking about Back to the Future lately. Okay, here we go. And what happened to what happened to the real Marty McFly or the Marty McFly that the movie Marty came back to? Oh, he's dead. Cause, well, here's the thing, right? So if you know the, the story, the, the plot line of Back to the Future, Marty is in 1985, right? And then he goes from that 1985 back to 1955 and he changes a whole bunch of shit, mm -hmm. right? So that and then he goes back to the future to nineteen back to nineteen eighty five, but he's linear. going to a different, yeah, different nineteen eighty five because he created a, a different timeline by mm -hmm. changing shit. So he goes to a different nineteen eighty five where his family is rich and happy and his parents love each other. So if that's because they have money, that's a diff right because they have money and now Biff is their slave washing their cars, mm -hmm. uh, but. He goes back to a different 1985, therefore there should be another Marty there. Mm -hmm. So what happened? What happened to that Marty? Oh, Did he, Marty stuffed him out. It, maybe just him showing up created a, a weird... But but that if that were the case, then the, every time he showed up where there was another was Marty, they would, they would die. Yeah, it's murder. But... There is a Marty <clears throat> McFly-shaped blood spatter. So blood if that's spatter. the case, he did it twice. He's done it a lot of times. Because when Biff went back and gave gave the book, Think gave the almanac to the, to the younger Biff. So he went back in time and gave the book to the younger Biff. And that younger Biff created a new timeline where when Marty got to 1985, everything looked like fucking Atlantic City. Yeah. Yeah, just a big casino with shitty neighborhoods around it. It was it looked like Atlantic City. And Facts. there was another Marty there because they said they had shipped him off to fucking boarding school or some shit. Mm -hmm. they, and so what happened to that Marty? He's in boarding like, school. It's just fucking... Yeah, but did he die? It, it, with our theory, if he showed up, would that create a separate Marty? And you know what happens? It happens like in The Flash. A ghost thingy comes after you. A ghost flash. Like like a, some kind of time revenant? Yeah. That would just be, created a movie. That reminds me of the ghost... Or, or of the weird demon... Black, like, cloak demons from Ghost. Yeah. Remember? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. They, pull, they pulled that Mexican guy down into the... They pulled his I soul into the... I never saw Ghost. You never saw Ghost? No. No? No. Well... Spoilers. No, you... I mean, you've seen the movie. Yeah, through... If, if, you, if you've seen... If you've seen any pop culture... Patrick Swayze making clay with Demi Moore... Yeah. You, you've, you've seen the movie. That's it. He yeah. did... They were in love. He died. Comes back as a ghost. Whoopi Goldberg can see him. That's about it. Uh, 
Thanks a lot, Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, fuck you, Whoopi. Whoopi. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh Goldberg. my God! Would someone please draw me a Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> we need to make that. A I absolutely. Oh, that's our second T-shirt. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. Pussy Plummet and Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, no, no, not pussy. Uh, uh, the Chihuahua. Chihuahua cats and and knife wielding Roombas. Oh, Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> That would have been a good episode closer if we weren't only at 38 minutes. <laughs> right, that's, And considering editing, we're at like 23 minutes. Yeah, speaking of which, you make us sound like we're on speed. How? Like, some of the episodes are just so skewed together so quickly. Do you know how many uh's oh, yeah, I know, I know. And, 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 and just, and uh, these, you, I just said end six times before I got to the rest of the sentence. You know how many times I have to cut that shit out? Like, it, it, it takes a lot to make us sound like coherent intelligent individuals <laughs> <laughs> yep and that's one of the things i <laughs> yep i did that on purpose maybe you more maybe out. more dick and fart jokes maybe that's <laughs> what we need i mean our description is we'll make you think differently using a fart joke did i ever tell you about patrick stewart's third ear i think so i think it was in the last episode actually or one of the episodes i don't Go think ahead. i put it in an episode i think i that might have been in the episode that we got canceled. Maybe, but because Patrick bad audio. Patrick Stewart was born with a third ear directly on on his forehead. Oh, frontier, frontier! I Damn it! You. Damn it! That was his final front ear. <laughs> it's such. It's one of them long-winded jokes. Go ahead, just tell it. No, it's too late now. <laughs> uh, you gave the punchline away, but it's like uh, I figured <laughs> that I would end up being like with how many dad TikToks I do. I feel like I'm gonna end up being the. Bob Saget of TikTok, if our show makes it off. Like, no. I'm going to have the disgusting platform where you and I do a podcast that seems nothing like the cool, good, wholesome content I do on TikTok. Except, I don't really release that good, wholesome content on Yeah, your wholesome, your content's not wholesome. Some of it is. Not all. Some of, some of it. it's full of holes? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and with that... This is where I come out and say we publicly endorse fucking Joe Rogan. Or support. We support, support, Joe, we support Rogan. Joe Rogan. Y'all aren't going to cancel him. Look, just because you have a difference of opinion. And also, uh, George Carlin once said the N-bomb in a joke. And plenty of comedians of the greatest era, the 80s. <laughs> and if, if you didn't cancel him because he made people eat bull testicles? Yeah, for real. How are you going to cancel him for quoting someone? It's It's such bullshit and it's just people trying to cancel someone else because they have a difference of opinion and that is getting obnoxious i'm sick and tired of people attacking other people because they have a different opinion opinions are like assholes everybody has them and they're nasty and they stink they do like that's we are in a small that's closed it. room you you <laughs> need to stop the world needs to stop getting mad at other people's opinions yeah you're allowed to have a difference of opinion. You're allowed to have that. That's the part of being free. You're you're allowed to have... That's the greatest part of this country. Right. You're allowed to have a difference of opinion. You're allowed to think differently than other people. Otherwise, it would be Russia. And you're also allowed to be upset about it, but what you're not allowed to do is tell the person they that... They shut their mouths. Right. Is to tell the person who you don't agree with that they're not allowed to say that. And all these social media apps and everything are, are just pandering to that shit mm -hmm. and blocking people. This goes back to the beginning of our fucking show yeah. when we were talking about our, our, TikTok, getting canceled. our TikTok getting canceled for, for self-harm or harm or whatever. When that video, the original video that we stitched it with is still up. You're like, it makes zero sense. You're but TikTok is also sexist. Like you say, I hate men, and that's okay. You say I hate women, that's a sex crime. That's a that's a hate crime. Well, sex there crime. there's yeah. this woman I follow on TikTok, and she's one of my favorite women of all time. Roma. Yes. Yeah, I love Roma. I fucking love Go Roma. Go Roma. The right. Roma is amazing. She Hashtag is amazing. Roma Army. Roma Army. Yeah. That that woman is incredible. She made me cry when I was going through my divorce. She's fucking fantastic. She is. She, she is. is. She has made me cry as well. She that woman is one of the best women on the planet, and y'all need to take example from that shit. She's a feminist, but she supports men's rights because 
we're the ones that are killing ourselves. We're the ones who have these double standards. We're the ones that have this, that, and the other. Women, yes, you have your we're, plates too. And we've, we brought, we've brought it up. We're not allowed to make fun of your eyebrows, but you're allowed to fat shame 50 cents. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's bullshit. And oh, we need to have a job, our car, our own place, this, that, and the other, but you're allowed to live off Mother's Day. And, and also, you have to be at least six foot. And have to have six inches or more. Right. I mean, I've never had that well, problem. But well, well, the newest one, uh, apparently, which is is good for all you little dick guys out there, from from, from yeah, but no, saw, for, from cheek to tip, yeah, ten inches, yeah, you yeah. know. I saw that one too, where she's sitting on the fucking trampoline. Yep. And she's, she's like, like if yeah, guy, guy doesn't do cheek to cheek. tip, uh, ten inches from cheek to tip. Like I got that a spare a couple inches, man. You were going cheek to tip, <clears throat> shit. But no, for real, uh. Rola, you are beautiful. I love you. You are amazing. God damn it. Stop hitting the vape on the microphone. Whoops. Anyway, <sighs> I love her. She is amazing. It, basically, the, the whole point is, all you motherfuckers, everybody on this goddamn planet, you need to chill the fuck out. You need to calm down and stop getting so fucking offended at everything that anyone says. It's out of hand. Hey, how can you handle so much stress? Like in the, real the, life, there's so much. The work. generation below us is, isn't going to live past thirty-five. <laughs> they're they're all going to have heart attacks, like stress-induced heart attacks, because they walked into a restaurant and weren't allowed to pet someone's fucking safety dog. Yeah, you shouldn't be petting safety dogs. It's just for it's just all bullshit, and everyone needs to chill the fuck out. You know what? Calm smoke, down and relax a minute. Smoke a bowl. <laughs> M- microdose on a little bit of mushrooms. You know? T- no, seriously. Like, shit. Like, calm the fuck down. You don't have to be so gung-ho about everything. And why the hell do you need safe spaces? Your yeah. safe space is when you're by yourself doing your own thing. That's your safe space. That's what it was when we were growing up. When you, when you wanted to like sit down and reflect about shit that was going on I with your life. Safe space with it, my no-no square. It was either. Don't touch me there. <laughs> exactly. That that's my no-no, no-no square. square. Uh, shout out to Rekid. <laughs> uh, he's the one who came up with that I for know. the first time. The VR the VR chat. Don't nope. Don't touch Let's me that. there. That that's, that's what, my no-no, no-no square. square. But no, like, everybody needs to chill the fuck out. Calm, calm the fuck down. It, maybe take a week off the Adderall. Because we know a thousand of you, not a thousand of you listening, maybe. But there's, there's a thousand of you listening. There's plenty of people out there who are taking Adderall that don't need it. And it's making you have what I call the... High strong. The attitude. And <laughs> you're, you're just, you need to calm the fuck down. You know? Yeah. Take a melatonin. Relax. <laughs> oh, man, that melatonin you gave me at your house knocked me the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, dude, and be, that'll, that shit will give you the best night's sleep ever. I did have a good night's sleep, but I did, uh, your dog was, like, cuddled up my ass. That's, like, what, that's what dogs do. Rufus is so, he's so adorable. He's, he's the best dog ever? Yes. Uh, my dog's better than your dog. He's named after George Carlin, so that's it's a fact. Yeah, he is named after uh, George Carlin's character in the Bill and, uh, Bill and Ted movies. Yes. And Rufus. then our other dog, Freya, is named after one of the uh, Scandinavian Norse gods. Goddesses. That's your wife naming. Huh? Your wife named her? No, yeah, we both named her. I I, I'm Norwegian. I'm, yeah, I know. You're all into the Viking shit. Yeah. I'm I'm a big dude with broad shoulders and a, and a big-ass beard. Yes. Uh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's into Vikings. He's definitely not the guy on YouTube. Or no TikTok, who's all about the? Uh, I don't have I, I don't have a Thor's hammer necklace <laughs> charm. Um, Mjolnir. 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 That's right. Mjol- y- y- Mjolnir. It's it's almost Hebrew. Like you say it with almost like a little <laughs> in your throat, <laughs> like a, like a little swachna. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's a uh, Mjolnir. Okay, so you know my Mexican Mjol. mess up earlier wasn't racist, but that this this borderline. No, it can't be racist because those people are white. <laughs> Just, I don't think that works. It it totally works because we're white. We can't be racist against white people, right? Uh, no, we're talking to the Germans. 
Yeah, no, I fucking hate white people. Y'all suck. <laughs> yeah, we do hate white people. And I, I speaking, of, I, I want to clear up some things. Uh oh. You have the mic. Go ahead. Uh, not all white people put like raisins in everything. They don't well, put no. raisins in their fucking potato salad. And I don't put mayo in. Like anything. I don't know what the fuck Karen white person you know, but <laughs> fuck no. If I'm coming to the cookout, I'm bringing something with spice and also some beer and whiskey. Maybe some potato like, salad. It, and my potato salad is going to be potato it's salad. Salad. <laughs> salad. My salad. potato salad. I, I was going to say, you said it this time. My potato salad would be fucking fire as fuck. It's going to have spice. In, like, fuck that. Like, Remember? I'll, and they're like, oh, no, my wife, you know, uh, it put a little salt on it. Oh, not too much. Don't want to be too spicy. No, oh, caliente. No, 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 like, no, 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 fuck that. There's, there's hot sauce on every fucking thing I eat. We've made people right. cry eating chips after us. Right. Remember? Right. <laughs> hey, fuck you. mom making chip sauce, and we were just sitting there eating it with our chips, and a friend of ours who is redacted, <laughs> he, <laughs> uh, he ate one of them, and he starts bleeding from the mouth like... He's like, ah! We need to stop all these bad stereotypes across the board. Let's all just worry about the good stuff. If we just start thinking about the good stereotypes, everything's good, right? What what good stereotypes do white people have? Our credit score? Because my credit score is shit. Yeah, my credit score is fucking terrible. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, we don't have good ones. No, we don't have good ones. Everyone else has good ones. Yeah, black people have big dicks. Mexican people have good food. Big dicks, athletic. Mexican people can make good food. Your tacos are amazing. You always Asians have good spice never like stuff. waste a second of time. And 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 like black people and Asian people, they don't get old. Yeah, they don't. Until they're a hundred, and then and then they're a ancient. thousand. Yeah, then they're a thousand. But when they're a th- now they're wise. <laughs> now Long everything years. everything they say you you take as fucking truth. Fact. Yeah. Like God damn it! How many of them are, are there? Two. My ex-wife is way too many. Two is too many. There's a, a <laughs> song by Primus called Too Many Puffies. <laughs> Too many Katies <laughs> are getting shot in the dark. For, for, for reference, my ex-wife's name is Katie. Oh, yeah, and I'm not, I'm not editing that out. No, Fuck her. No. No. I should throw her whole government out there, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, with that being said... She can't say her. She can't say her states or er, states. <laughs> Most people can't say her states. She can't say her months in order. Yeah, there's a lot of things I can't do in order. Either. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but you, she fuck it. They're liter- They're numbered one through twelve. <laughs> she can't successfully name things that are ordered one through twelve. Her dyslexia is weird. Anyway, she is the mother of my children. So yeah, your children are great. Your yeah. ex-wife. Is a bitch. <laughs> oh my god, my daughter's gonna listen to this. And I hope. Well, I hope she does, cause I haven't seen your daughter in a number of years because of your ex-wife. Yeah. And I'm well, the I godfather of that child. I love that little girl. She ain't little no more though. Oh my god, she likes causing me a heart attack. That that's that's what little girls do. That's why I'm glad I have sons. <laughs> you should be. Yeah, I have sons, but I also have, like, nine fucking nieces. Yeah, you do. They're all girls. And they're all gorgeous. Like, fuck you. Why do y'all have to be pretty? Your sister's pretty, but she's got, like, that that, uh, girl next door. This is your opportunity. Go ahead. This is your comeback to Nikki. Your sister's pretty, but? No. Oh, it's going to be nice. Oh. No. Oh, it's going to be nice. Your sister's pretty, but she's got, like, the girl next door look. I mean, that's what they've been waiting for. Like, she shit on you the first episode. Well, I know, and I've been overly mean on TikTok with my comments. <laughs> so, like, I'm trying to balance out here. <laughs> like, I even sent a text to your brother. Like, and I'm talking to her directly. Right. <laughs> like, I was like, ah, I think I went a little too far. <laughs> Did I get too far? I'm sorry. Did I get too far? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just that that one joke you made, that what that one sentence joke you made, just what? has been <laughs> bugging me for nine months, and I just can't. <laughs> I just can't get over it. <laughs> oh shit! She's gonna like how deep she got into my head, though. She's gonna love it. Oh man, she she cored in there like she was trying to find a sample of of mammoth DNA. <laughs> right? Like she pinpointed without even trying. Right. Pinpointed the perfect thing to say. Like, 
Oh, dude, she fucking incepted your ass. She did, she did. She got She it implanted the idea that maybe I'm not that funny. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Christopher Titus bit where, oh, yeah, well, you're not that funny. <laughs> You've gained 16 pounds since we've been married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, she's a girl next door type. But she, you, well, you, you did it for me when you said she looks like uh, Reese Witherspoon. Back in the day, she used to. She used to claim she looked like Reese Witherspoon. She uh, kind of did. Yeah, because because at that point in time, that was the the popular look yeah. in the zeitgeist for chicks with blonde hair. And yeah. You, you know, uh, my sister is gorgeous. All my sisters are gorgeous. But uh, I'm just commenting on the one. <laughs> All the other ones give me trouble if I comment on. You have younger sisters. You have, you have, da- you have blah, blah, <laughs> no, the older no, brother, uh, and the older sister, both, and then a younger both sister. Both my younger sisters are in college. Oh my god, we're old. Yeah, you're old as fuck. God. I remember, oh, hey, I'm going to have a little sister. And then he quoted Blaze. Ah! Oh, it's not, I'm I was in his bedroom when I got the phone call on my <laughs> peanut-shaped cell phone. <laughs> That I was, and it was literally a, shaped like a peanut. Uh, that I was a rock star. That I was having a a little sister. My first words: I wipe snot on your best friend, little sister, pussy lip. Yep. <sighs> Look, I was a juggalo, and I do not accept responsibility for any of the shit I said back then. True. Yep. <laughs> I did see uh, something recently on the internet that said, uh, and this is from a a a prisoner's perspective. That most people that come in with juggalo tattoos are sex offenders. Ooh, I believe it. Yep. Because uh, they're creepers. And it sucks because I have juggalo tattoos. Yeah, you do. I don't have any tattoos. Uh, There's another new thing going around on TikTok where it's like if Russia invaded and the only thing you had was the physical embodiment of your tattoos, (laughs) how fucked would you be? And I, I look at my ha- I'm fucked? Are you serious? I have the blue turtle shell from oh, Mario shit. Kart. <laughs> I will take out Putin with just the blue turtle shell. <laughs> I will win World War Three. <laughs> All right, with that being said, <laughs> let's go ahead and close this episode out. We've got just under 60 minutes, and that's where we've been trying to keep episodes anyways. All right, um, and we'll uh, try and do something special for episode 10. Yeah, we I, do I don't that. know what it'll be. These last two episodes have been kind of like, we, we've been a little ill-prepared. Uh, episode 10 will be a banger. It will be good, and we'll try and figure some shit out. Who, who knows? Maybe we'll do a live Discord or something during recording. If you guys, if we can figure out. The, a way to not fuck up our recording because apparently every time we do it, every time we try and record, <laughs> something changes. Uh, yeah, we did it this morning. Something came. I mean, I went and picked him up, came back. I tested it before I left. It worked fine. Yeah, and then as soon as I got here, fucked up. It's all your fault. It is my fault. Anyways, we'll see it's you guys be- later. It's because I link in with the Bluetooth when yeah, I walk that's in. It, and it just is. fucks up the whole thing. In our period sync. Yep. Anyways, it should be our semicolons. Our what? Semicolons. It's a terrible period. So my All right, bye bye, everybody. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Love you. I can't hit. I can't hit the. I can't hit the stop button. There we go. And considering editing, we're at like twenty-three minutes. Yeah, speaking of which, you make us sound like we're on speed. How? Like some of the episodes are just so skewed together so quickly. Do you know how many uhs oh, yeah, yeah, and, 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 and just, and these, you, I just said and six times before I got to the rest of the sentence. You know how many times I have to cut that shit out? Okay, it, it takes a lot to make us sound like coherent, intelligent individuals. <laughs> yep, and that's one of the things I, <laughs> yep. <laughs> maybe more, maybe more dick and fart jokes. Maybe that's what we need. <laughs>